Hey guys, Light here, and in today's video, we're going to check out some of the changes in iOS 14.2 on the iPhone SE. On this update, the first change that you would see would be inside Control Center, and if you have nothing playing, and you go ahead and open that setting right there, you would see here a list of all the recently played media on your device and its source. So, since we do have a small screen, we only have one row available, but on larger displays, it displays two rows for the recently played media. And also, if you decided to play a content right here, the controls and display would automatically adapt according to the type of content that you selected. And also, speaking of controls, if you tap here the airplay button, we get the retained music controls on the top, so for instance, I want to switch my device and pause my music, I would be able to do that so. And also speaking of the controls, as you can see, we only have here the current time and we no longer get the leading and trailing time on the music progress bar. And that change also applies to the lock screen. So if we try to go to the lock screen right now, you can see we have a slightly larger album artwork, but here we got the current time and we no longer get the leading and trailing time on the music progress bar. Also, if you tap here the airplay button, you just get the list of devices, unlike on Control Center where you get music controls. Also, another nice change right here is inside Control Center settings. If you scroll down, we have a new option for music recognition. If you add that toggle, so the nice thing about this thing, it allows you to even recognize music that is playing within your device. So right now I have a song playing on my AirPods and I'm just going to use a toggle to detect that music and it would be able to detect that. This is quite useful for instance, you're watching a movie or perhaps somewhere in your phone that you want to know the music, you could just use that toggle and the device would be able to detect what song is playing on the background. This works for any app that is installed on your device, and if you decide to interact with that pop-up, you could go ahead and use that to listen directly to Apple Music or check out the site. And also, with instant switching available on your device, if your device detects that you have something connected, it would show you a similar interface that we get on Control Center, which you have the recently played media, and you could just tap on an option for it to play. Also, going back to the music recognition feature, you could still use that to listen to the songs that are playing around you. Like right now, I have a song playing on my Mac and the device would be able to recognize it. Also, another change in this update is that we do get new set of emojis. So, an example of this is that we do get a new smiling emoji with a teardrop. We have here a ninja, olives, blueberries, bell pepper, and this emoji right here, which is, uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I'm thinking it's the Italian hand gesture. But if you do know what is that emoji, please let me know in the comment box below because I'm not really sure what it is. But going back to the new set of emojis, here are the new emojis available on iOS 14.2. And also, Apple did a sneaky change in updating their masked emoji so the mass emoji right now is smiling. And also for you bubble tea or milk tea lovers out there, the emoji for your cravings is now available. So you could use that to send to your friends or whatever you want to do with it. Also another change in iOS 14.2 is inside magnifier settings. And inside that we do get people detection, which works by using image recognition and detecting people and trying to measure your distance from that person. So I did try to use this on a convenience store and here is how it looks like. So it tries to measure your distance from another person. Also running some performance tests on iOS 14.2, we do get a score of 1320 for single core and 2108 for multi-core. So those were just some of the changes in iOS 14.2 on the iPhone SE. Would you like us to do a deeper dive on the update? Let me know in the comment box below and let's try to make those videos happen. As always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.